I wish our minds would growl like our stomachs when it gets hungry. Maybe it would help us to feed our minds a little more often. The person who refuses to read is no better off than the person who cannot read. Listen guys, I've always been a slow reader ever since I was a kid, and I wasn't even necessarily a good reader, but I've always loved to read. Now what I have loved to read has changed over the years. Back in back when I was a teenager, I read a lot of music magazines. I would read up on the Bob Dylan going ons and find out what was happening with Prince. And but I love to read at least certain things. I love to read. Over the years, that has changed. I still love to read, but I read about different things now. I read about how to grow, how to develop some personal development stuff, spiritual development. I read about things that help me become better at what I am doing in life. I read about leadership. I read about preaching and speaking and coaching and all these things that I am involved in because I want to get better. Listen, you don't have to be a great, fast reader in order to improve your life through reading. All leaders are readers. So begin to feed your mind on a consistent basis. You can change who you are and what you are by changing what goes in to your mind. Zig Ziglar used to tell us that. What if I came into your house and I went into your living room and I just dumped a big pile of garbage right in the middle of your living room? What would you do? Well, at the very least, you would tell me to clean it up or get out or you may call the cops and to make sure that I clean it up. Or you may go to an extreme and decide to beat me up because I came in and poured trash right in the middle of your living room. But what about the trash we pour into our minds on a daily basis? Put the good stuff in here. Again, we could change who we are and what we are by changing what goes into our mind. How do we stay mentally healthy and growing mentally? By putting good stuff in our minds that's going to help us grow. Not just information, but information that's going to help us grow. Here's a few things you could do to do that. First of all, Begin to become a reader. If you're not already a reader, begin now. And I don't mean just reading things on the internet or on Facebook, and that could be good or bad, but I am talking about being specific about what you're putting into your mind. Read articles that deal with where you are in life. Are you married? Read articles on marriage. Are you a parent? Read articles on parenting. Whatever your career is, and you want to get better at it, read articles about that. And do the same thing with books. Begin to read books. Develop a system of reading that continues to feed your mind. Learn new skills. That's another way that we can become mentally healthy and grow, is to learn a new skill. Find out something you think you might enjoy learning about. Or maybe it's a segment or, a, or somehow connected to what you already do, but you don't know how to do this particular part of it yet. Learn that new skill. When you learn a new skill, it literally creates new connections in our brain and it keeps our brain more active. And listen, the older you get, the more important this is. Learn new skills. Even if it's a skill of a hobby, Learn new skills. It makes new brain connections. It keeps our brain more active and it helps our brain to continue to operate in an optimal level longer into life. Listen, it can be as simple as driving a new way to a place that you've driven to a hundred times. And maybe you've always driven the same way. Go a different way. Even that can help us to develop new connections in our brain that improves our brain function. Next, go to classes. 
You may not be working toward a degree or diploma or anything like that. That's okay. Oftentimes we think that when our formal schooling ends, that our education ends. It does not. Our education should never end. Continue to take classes. Maybe it's an online class. Maybe it's a, a, a class that's in your community, at a college in your community. Something that you can learn from and continue to grow your mind. And listen. If you've got internet access, this is completely free. You could go online and just watch videos to learn new things. Again, you could use that time to watch videos of funny cats being afraid of cucumbers. Or you can use it to grow your mind. You can use it to learn new skills. If you want to stay mentally healthy and to continue to grow intellectually, Read, learn new skills, take new classes, watch videos that teach you things. If you make these decisions, it will light your fire and you will live with enthusiasm. Here we go.